The Nobel Foundation has just unveiled its latest laureates. While scientists and literary scholars receive numerous accolades, the Nobel Prize stands out as the most prestigious. Recipients of the honor are catapulted into lifelong fame and their lives undergo a profound transformation. They find themselves universally recognized, revered in various spheres of the society spanning science, culture and politics. However, an interesting phenomenon among Nobel Prize winners is Occasionally, they succumb to phases of excessive self-assuredness that drive them to think and behave in remarkably irrational ways. In private quarters, it is called Nobel disease or Nobelitis. The phrase, in a light-hearted sense, encapsulates the inflated ego and excessive self-confidence that comes with a Nobel Prize. The term Nobel disease does not refer to a medical condition or disease in the traditional sense. Instead, it is an informal term that is used to describe a trend among Nobel laureates who are sometimes found making eccentric or unconventional statements or engaging in unusual behavior in public. There is no evidence that Nobel Prize winners are more prone to critical thinking errors than other scientists. But this phenomenon suggests that being an authority in one field does not necessarily make one an authority in another. Canadian medical scientist Frederick Banting won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1923 for discovering insulin. Later, he went on to combat cancer with limited knowledge, yielding no success. Did you know US researcher Linus Pauling, a double Nobel laureate, believed that high vitamin C doses could cure cancer? He was criticized for poorly designed clinical trials. More recently, Egyptian Nobel laureate Ahmed Zawail's ambitious project of developing a science and technology city in Egypt was seen from the prism of a Nobel disease in some scientific quarters. The reason? The project bore similarities to the actions taken by ancient Egyptian rulers and communist leaders of Russia's Leningrad. Nobel laureates are not immune to making unconventional claims or delving into unproven realms. To prevent this, it's crucial to have a realistic assessment of their abilities because prevention of this disease appears more feasible than finding a cure. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard